It's finally here, the 2024 Outshine Film Festival Miami Edition. One of the world's great LGBTQ plus film festivals celebrates everything about the queer community through film. The best parties, the most interesting movies, and everything you need to know about Outshine. All next on this special edition of Queer News Tonight from Hot Spots Magazine and Happening Out Television Network. This is the world's first live daily LGBTQ evening news show, literally out of the closet and into the headlines on Queer News Tonight. Welcome to the Outshine Film Festival, celebrated in Miami, April 18th through April 28th. I am your Outshine special host, Faye. What? And for this Outshine special program, Hotspots Magazine Happening Out Television Network has assembled many film and entertainment experts joining us today. Let's begin by welcoming Jennifer Chris. She is the long-term vice chair of the Outshine Film Festival and is one of America's leading voices for the lesbian and queer women and the importance of LGBTQ plus films. And she's also great to look at. Next up, let's welcome Eric Restivo. He is one half of the television show, The W Boys. The W Boys represents the best of entertainment from his longtime WeHo perspective. The show can be seen Fridays on streaming and social media platforms. Hello, gorgeous. Hi. Next up, let's welcome my brother from another mother. He's Dino Mosquera, the longtime film screening chairman of the Outshine Film Festival. He has seen thousands of film submissions through the years to be selected for Outshine. He hosts a special special Latino Focus Outshine special with me in Spanglish. Make sure you catch that. And let's welcome John Hayden. John is the other half of the television show The W Boys, representing Wilton Manners. He has interviewed countless film and television stars from an extensive broadcast TV entertainment news career. And finally, last but definitely not least, you know him, you love him, he's Joe Belancio. Did I say that right, Joe? I did, right? He is the Perfect. program director of the Outshine Film Festival. Joe is considered one of the world's leading experts on queer film and has built some of the greatest film festival programs. It says in America, I'm gonna say in the world. <laughs> Welcome all and let's jump right into Outshine Film Festival Miami Edition 2024. The opening night of the Outshine Film Festival will be on April 18th. It's opening night for the 41st Outshine LGBTQ Plus Film Festival. The filmmaker soiree begins at 6 p.m. Our event is hosted at Silver Spot Cinema in downtown Miami. At 7 p.m., there are opening ceremonies with a short film screening of Dream Burger. Do you ever have something that, like, runs through your mind and then you think about it all over again? That's it, huh? just like that. All right. When they find out about this at work, don't tell them, please. Dream Burger is a story about Luke and Simon. They always go for burgers together after tennis, but this time Luke wants to tell Simon how he really feels about him. How will Simon react? Luke's vivid imagination leads us into, in, into some intense scenarios only to reveal a surprising truth. Joe, tell us the choice to open up with this short film like Dream Burger. Yeah, we, we always look for ways to sort of we think our event's special on its own, but we always try and look for ways to make it even that much more special. And this was one of the ways we said, you know, why don't we do a short? Um, I, I think people fall into the category of I love shorts or I don't know that I love shorts. So it's kind of a way to tease people to show them that shorts really are fun. And as we always say, if you don't like it, wait, because another one will be on or it'll be off. So um, and this particular short is just kind of fun. It's romantic. It's, I think, a really good way to to lead into the feature film and we're just we're very excited to you know to again bring shorts to an audience that may not be familiar with them yeah joe i mean i personally love shorts because i sometimes have the attention span of a gnat you know <laughs> <laughs> so it's like okay say. give it to me quick give it to me now let me let me look at you okay good and i also pee a lot yeah. right so i need a short film to kick off for this one what do you folks think there you go Nine minutes. It lasts nine, nine minutes. Nine minutes, that's it? It's a nine-minute short, and it's actually very interesting. I like the, 
the dynamics is like uh, there's a lot of fantasy and going back and forth to reality and in nine minutes so you can imagine and it's very entertaining i, I really like this i know and i think it's super cute about how they always go for burgers after tennis you know right? i mean is that does, does burgers mean something else yeah yeah joe is there is there <laughs> is there a metaphor to the burgers or is a tennis a metaphor for something greater is the burger fake? you'll have you'll have to wait and come and see for I me it was that. always it was pupusas after volleyball, oh. but uh, same sort of concept. <laughs> no, I love that. For me, it was arepas. And if you don't know what an arepa yeah. is, just go look it up. And, you, and, and you're not really living in Miami if you don't know. No, exactly. Um, <laughs> exactly. I, I have a question because you do, you screen so many movies and films, shorts, et cetera. Shorts is, is a very um, specific type of genre. And there's a, it's it very, you have to be a sharp storyteller to, to tell the story. So what do you look for when you're uh, looking for shorts to put in the film festival? Yeah, and for us, it's just a good story. The, the difficulty is you're trying to create, especially in the program, th this opening night is a little different because it's a singular, it's, it's a one-off. Whereas a, a shorts program, you're trying to look for films that sort of appeal to everybody. And I don't mean that all of them are going to appeal to everybody, because if you try and do that, you're going to appeal to nobody. Um, but it's you know, some people like the happy commercial fare and other people like really to get into the gritty, raw realness of a film. And so putting together a short program, is, it, it can be it can be difficult. I always say it's a blend of sort of art and science and just sort of, you know, teasing your audience. But for me, this particular was just a very well written story. As Dino said, it's fun. It's engaging. You sort of appreciate the characters and you really, you know, you, you can sort of put yourself in the shoes. Not that you've been through that particular going for burgers after tennis but you know the things they're going through are very similar to a lot of things people do in um with fascinations upon their best friends so and it's in english by the way but it's in it's in english it's correct in english. yes in english. well that's going to be an it's in a version night. of english so yeah <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> it's uh yeah yeah so is this show so is the real show. english <laughs> some would say <laughs> and so on the same day at 7 30 p.m the opening night feature film is turtles watch this I want to get a divorce. Oh no, pas foutre. Dis-moi que seul chez toi, quand le soleil se couche. Je suis cocu, 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 cocu. Que tu m'entends. I'm so glad we have time together now. Really. Que le souvenir de nos deux corps nus qui se touchent fait que tu te sens encore tout près de moi. La séparation bien que nécessaire. C'est le bon moment pour liquider. Que pose pour laisser à la You're gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. Le temps de comprendre chacun des mystères. What you want from me? Hein? Qui unit deux airs. We haven't been fucking together for years, so. Que tu te répètes comme une petite prière. Putain, mais t'es malade! Enfin, J'espère que ce n'est pas en divorçant que tu penses le récupérer. You're my only family. Mais what does it change? Tu mérites tellement mieux. Je comprendrai jamais pourquoi on fait autant de concessions pour être avec quelqu'un. Why are you on a sex app? Oh! 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 Mon topsy. Il dit que tu t'es trompé de tortue. Oh, il est gentil, quel bel bœuf. Ça fait une éternité. Surprise! <rire> tu veux venir? Goodness, I am practicing my French on Duolingo, and I'll be able to <laughs> just follow right through. Outside will be the Southeast premiere of Turtles. The main characters are Tom and Henri. You like how I did that? Henri, Ooh, who Henri. met 35 years ago. Their love for each other has never faltered. The seemingly perfect life they had built in Brussels started to go, away, go awry when Henri retired from being a police officer. Now, his days seem to stretch endlessly, each one as bland as the next, while his feelings for Tom are fading fast. Although the subject of divorce is no laughing matter, Turtles is alive with dry humor and joyous moments. Joe, tell us about Turtles being chosen as the opening night feature. Yeah, the, the opening night film was always interesting, as, as many of our galas are, because they have to have something. They, they have to be a good quality, as, as all of our films are, but there has to be something that sort of elevates it to a prime spot like this. And this sort of had it, I, I, and I'm not quite sure what it is, but it has it. It's, 
I think we tend to use the term dramedy quite a bit, and this is a comorama or whatever the, the comedy <laughs> drama is because it's more comedy. Did I coin a new phrase? Dra <laughs> I, I think, think you I'm did. Dramedy. Yeah. Yeah. Dramedy. Really? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, it's, but it's more comedy than drama. There's, there's drama, there's comedy in the drama. And it's really a special film. It's, um, it's very unique in the way, and, and the trailer itself did a really good job of sort of portraying that, that humor in, in times where humor may not seem to exist. Um, and the way they interact with each other, you know that they, they absolutely love each other and adore each other. And even if they've grown apart, and you're kind of rooting for them. Do they get back together? Do they not? And in the end, that really isn't the question. It's the question of sort of the journey that they were on and they took us on. And it's really a, a special film. I, I really did. I, I, you know, I laughed and I cried. And even though I wasn't in that situation, I think we as human beings can sort of put ourselves and try and understand what that would be like to sort of be with somebody for so long and then sort of not be with somebody and it really is it, it's special it's unique and, and we're very excited to share it with the audience it's got like an aura of like the last of us did anybody else feel that way uh, a little I don't, bit i don't know but it, i i agree on the sense that it had it the trailer mm -hmm. as a, someone you know an outsider looking in i was hooked from this trailer i don't know if it was the music that furthered the tense uh moments within the trailer but i want to see this film this, mm -hmm. so i agree with that it factor for, it has for me it. a lot of it was the um, fact that I don't really understand the language, I sort of, I, it, it makes the act, it makes me pay so much more attention to the mm -hmm. acting, mm -hmm. which is something that I just really value. But I think there'll be enough English in it that I'll still be, I'll still feel like, yeah, okay. Yes, you know. folks, know that that is not is. all in French. Okay, no, there's not. a lot of English in there. No, you know, what did you think, Bobby? I, I, I thought it was a fantastic film, very human, uh, and it's actually our community would relate to, particularly. Um, Folks well, of a certain age also. Yeah, I'm yes. aging gay, <laughs> aging as a gay couple and dealing with the so, issues of, you know, you know, the, well, the length. Of, it's like end of life crises. Mm -hmm. right. You know, you're getting towards the end years. It's, you know, I don't even want to call it midlife crisis. Yeah. yeah. And, the, you know, you're looking at your life and saying, did I make the right choices? Is this the right person? Is And uh, the character Henri has just retired. retired. Mm. And so now he's in a whole different frame. And I think that's something we can all think about as we navigate Definitely. life. Right? I got right? the chills Exactly. Do I like want to die next to this person? Right. No, and it, it also, <laughs> it's also yeah. the fact that, you know, it's, it's getting old in a gig in a gay um in the gayberhood in Brussels where there are so many other gay men, younger gay men, grinder and all the apps all the all access that plays to it, into yeah. the film. It's a very interesting film because yes, it's it's a serious matter, but they deal with with comedy. And and these two uh are fantastic. Yeah. The two main characters, they are like real stars and Dave Johns, the, the British actor who doesn't speak French that I'm aware of, but he does the beginning of the film in French, and then they go into, into English for the most part. They have drag queens. It's like they have so much in the film that everybody will enjoy, and it's a great film for, for an opening, I think. I love that. I love that. Any, anything else about Turtles, Joe? Yeah, no, and it, it's funny because you you'd mentioned the David Johns, who is very, very well known. Very well known. Um, it, but both the actors are, are stunning. They're, they're both very... In, in a movie where two people are on screen most of the time, they have to be fantastic, and luckily they are. But uh, David Johns actually did learn French specifically for the role. That's how, that's how much he was into the role and wanted to do the part. So, um, and the, and the, the director, David Lambert, did... We did All Yours. We did Third Wedding. This is at least the third film, if not more, um, that we've done by him. And, and they've always been they've always been fan favorites. So we're, again, very, very excited to have it as, a, as the opening night film. And what opening night could happen without an amazing party? You know, Ooh. we're queer. We like the party, right? <laughs> and this party is going to be at the W Miami, including drinks, food, and more entertainment. The evening even includes free Uber ride to and from the ceremony. Jen, tell us what else is happening. Well... You know, after the film wraps, everybody wants to run out and get a drink. Mm -hmm. And so they just mosey on over to the W. <sighs> and it's a spectacular space. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have beautiful food and Tito's cocktails. And then there are going to be some interesting surprise entertainers and everything. So it should be a lot of fun. And we have this thing that's so interesting this year about Uber partnering with us, where if you're coming within 25 miles to the Silver Spot Cinema, 
you can, when you buy your ticket, there will be a code and Uber will take you for free. 25 oh, miles. 25 that's miles. That is incredible, that's, Jen. That means if then, you live on the beach, you can take an Uber over to yeah, Scotland. Yeah, yeah. you. Okay. Right? Yeah. It's almost cover you. I that's, think I'm in North Miami. I'm like yeah. 21. I'll walk yeah. three blocks. <laughs> I need the Uber to take it to the yeah. beach. Trust me. Uh, all right? I'll take you from the W2 and take you back. So you for don't sure, yes. Back to Silver Spot. And the people that wants to drive to the Silver Spot, there'll be a uh, special rate parking. Uh, across the street from the Silver Spot. Yeah. So it's in downtown Miami. It's, you know, it's a busy area. So, yeah. But if you want to drive, there is a, a special rate. So. You want to take Uber. I know you do. So you don't want to miss this amazing opening night at Outshine Film Festival Miami on April 18th. More details for 10 days of more than 50 films, themes, parties, and a whole lot more can be found at OutshineFilm.com. LGBTQ plus film is a cultural treasure that can only be experienced in person at a queer film festival sitting in the dark. On behalf of Jennifer Chris, Eric Restivo, Dino Mosquera, John Hayden, and Joe Bilancio, I'm Faye Watt, and we are powered by Hotspots Magazine and Happening Out Television Network. We will see you when the lights go down at the Queer Movies.